As with any time that we're starting a new project, we want to make a new project folder. So I'm going to call this one the miniature train, or just mini train. And it's going to go on uh, my documents folder and the inventor folder and make a new folder called mini train. And now everything will save here. And we'll start with a new part folder, or a new part file. We're actually going to do the most complicated part first. It's the body of the train. And we'll start by looking at just the front of it here. So I'm going to make a rectangle to start everything off. And it looks like it is 8.75 tall and 2 wide, or 0.875. Always start at your origin. Okay, so there's just my rectangle. If I look back at the drawing again, I have a circle that's on here. The center point of the circle is up 1.375, has a radius of 0.75. So 0.75 is the radius, twice that is the diameter. And it's located up 1.375. Trim off the stuff we don't need. Hit extrude. and the entire length of this train is 5.5. Let's keep working on the front of this train. So we're making a new sketch here. We have three holes that are on here. I want to make these with points instead of with circles. So the first one is located over 0.375 and it is located up 0.125. Okay, just to make sure this is going to be the same distance always, I'm going to click on this dimension as a reference and the same thing for this side. I want to make a vertical constraint with the midpoint of this and the center point and the height of it is 0.625. Finish your sketch this time we're making holes and let's go back and look at the hole note it says that these are all going to be 0.125 in diameter and 0.125 in depth and those are not tapped holes it's just for a peg to go in to hold the cow catcher uh, let's keep working on the body of it. We have two holes for the axles and these are a quarter inch by 20 and they have a specific depth to them so we have the same thing on the left side and the right side. It does not go all the way through. Important things we're looking for here is that they're one inch and four and a half inches apart and they're up a half inch. So new sketch, point, They're up a half inch, and they're over one inch, and four and a half inches. And let's just make a horizontal constraint with these two. So they're on the same horizontal plane. Finish the sketch. Let's go to hole. And these are 
quarter 20 UNC, which means it's a tapped hole, has a depth of 0.875. Quarter is the same thing as 0.25, so quarter 20 UNC, unified national course, 20 threads per inch, and the depth is 0.25, right? No, depth is 0.875. We are just going to project the geometry from our first sketch. I guess it's not going to give me very easily here. Hmm. I'm going to project this geometry and finish my sketch. And that should make it to where, yep, there's my two center points. So I know they're in the right place. Click on hole and it still remembers what I had from last time. finish that and now let's look at the back side of this whole thing and we have to remember our center point arc constraint so from this center point which is up 0.375 over 1 inch we have a 2.35 radius so let's put just a single point in first. Okay. And let's make sure that this is up 0.375. And it's over one inch. And then we get to go to our arc and we're making a center point arc based off of that point. I'm just going to draw it around here and the arc has a radius of 2.35. I'm going to extend lines up to it. Trimming off the stuff we do not need. and it looks like it extends forward uh, 1.75 inches make sure you switch the direction here so it's going the right way okay I still want to be able to see this sketch so I make that visible and I'm going to make a hole on that point and based off of this the hole has a depth of a half inch has a diameter of 0.25 now that we have this back half we can put this little chunk in here so let me turn off this sketch this uncheck visibility we're making a new sketch on the side of this I know there's going to be a circle somewhere so I'm just going to draw one in for now and the circle has it's over 0.25 it's up 1.75 and it has a radius of a half inch which means the diameter is twice that so one inch 
switch to our line command, find the top quadrant of the circle, and the bottom quadrant is extended out to where it's perpendicular. Trim off the stuff we do not need. And now we can extrude, cut that feature, change the distance to all, Now we have all three of these holes, the two axle holes on each side, and this hole in the back, as well as all the geometry for the top of this. Let's double check. We have that hole, the location of it, the depth of it. The only thing that we're missing is this little hole for the, uh, the stack. So we have to click on plane, click on this surface, and if we kind of mouse over the top it will give us a preview can put a plane directly on top of the cylinder. It's actually using this flat part here as a reference. So we're going to make a new sketch on here. We want to be able to sketch on this, so uh, project the geometry of the body. Now we can use that as a reference. And we're just going to use a point. So we'll put a point somewhere over here. And it looks like it is located 0.875 back. finish our sketch. I already had it in the exact middle. It's a half inch in diameter, 0.25 in depth. Half inch diameter, 0.25 depth. Okay. And turn off the visibility of this, and there's your train.